<laughs> Welcome back, kids. Hi, guys. We are starting a brand new series today for the month of February, and it is called How, How to. to. So we're going to focus on Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, mm -hmm. and we're going to learn a lot of amazing things on how to be a great version of ourselves, how to be more yeah. like Jesus. Yeah. It's just like whenever you're like, oh, I wonder how to do this, you would look at videos on YouTube, and we're looking at the Bible mm -hmm. for a how to be a great person and um, honor God and just live the right way. So yeah. it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Andrea. Yes. Okay, you were not born in February, right? No. Okay. Well, if you were born in February, we wanna wish you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> to all of our February birthdays uh, or kiddos. Um, we hope you have a great birthday. Yeah. You get to celebrate. Um, have some cake or dessert that you like. Mm -hmm. Not everyone likes cake. I'm an uh, ice cream person myself. Um, but happy birthday. We hope you guys get to celebrate. If you come in person, um, you know, maybe you're watching this on Saturday, you can come on Sunday. Um, we have a special little treat that we want to yeah. get to. So, yeah. Um, anything else? Oh, yes. Communion. Mm -hmm. So, it is the first weekend of the month, and as you know, we will participate in communion today. So make sure to get your juice and your crackers or your bread ready because after the lesson, we're gonna go ahead and do it together. Yay, that's right, awesome. Okay, let's jump in. Um, I can pray for us? All right, sounds All right, good. Let's pray and then we'll get started. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you that we get to hang out together and just learn more about you. I pray that this series would just help us to grow and become better followers of you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right guys, see you in a minute, bye. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, how you do, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now today, I have something very exciting to share with you. You see, I've been doing this whole thing for Grow TV for a long time now, and I've gotten to do so many cool things. I've been in a hot air balloon, I've seen dragons, and I've been on top of the tallest mountain in the world. But there's something I've never done that I get to do today. You see, it's important in life to have hobbies. Something that you can do in your spare time that you can work on and enjoy. Some people fish, some people knit blankets, some people collect bowling balls. Me? Well, I like to work with wood. You see, I've actually never worked with wood before, but how hard can it be? I mean, it's wood, it's from a tree. So that's why I decided for the next four weeks, I'm gonna be working here in this uh, wood shop place. What will I be doing in this wood shop? Excellent question. All the biggest questions in the world start off with two words. Can you guess what those words might be? How to? How to make a video, how to make a cookie, how to make money, how to get a rabid raccoon out of a copier. People want to know how to do things. So that's why I'm here. As y'all know, I'm kind of an internet sensation. I have 70,000 subscribers, thank you very much. Which reminds me, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right here. Because I am launching a new how-to series right here. Where I, your workshop professional, will teach you. You, you, and you. How to make items we use in everyday life. So I have one question. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? I can't hear y'all, so I'm assuming you either cheered really loud or it was really uncomfortable and awkward and everyone was quiet. All right, let's get started. Today's project, we're gonna create something special. Something everyone has seen and have probably have used. We are making a hat. I don't know what you're probably saying. Carl, are you making a hat out of wood? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you know it's just how talented I really am. Ah. I am to wood what Bo R D is to pasta, Chef Bo R D. So how to make a hat? First things first, you gotta get wood. <laughs> you see, I got a couple different sizes and uh, thicknesses. What I've been told is that you go with the grain. What I got here is some uh, type of wood. It is pre-cut. You just start doing it. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put uh, like, a, like a few screws like um, like here, I think. Ah, maybe one right here. I think that could work too. Ah, the next part is measuring. Wait, did you measure before? You measure after, you always measure after you cut things. Cut twice, measure once. 
So you just make a few adjustments. Let me just, uh, hold on. Yep, oh, aha, uh -huh. a hat, a wooden hat. It really is that simple. I mean, look at this thing, it's gorgeous. It is so comfy. Hey, Carl, hi. Hi, Jada, are you okay? Carl, don't move. There's something on the top of your head. Be careful. What, what, what is it? Wait, are you talking about this? Yes, be careful. Jada, this is my hat, I made it. Oh. Okay, well, in that case, I love it. Oh, thanks, I worked really hard on it. But enough about me, what are you up to? Well, I saw your message you sent to me about you doing the how-to series on your channel, and I want to do the same thing. You're gonna make a hat too? <laughs> Not quite, you see, I thought I'd answer my own how-to, and I came up with a few, and my first is how to make a difference. How to make a difference? Hmm, like how to make a different hat? Uh, not really. I mean, make a difference in a bigger way, you know? Not really. All right, well, today I was reading in Matthew chapter 5, and I read something really cool. I'm all ears. It says this, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Wow, oh, I think I heard that before. What does it mean, though? It really is great. You see, as followers of Jesus, we are called to be the light of the world. And the world we live in can sometimes be filled with darkness. You know, anger, hate, and hurt. But it's our job to share the goodness of Jesus no matter what. So when the world feels dark and scary, we have the chance to bring joy and light. So do I need to like stop, uh, stock up on like flashlights and uh, lamps and stuff so I can be a light? <laughs> well, not exactly. It's just that when we choose to follow God, we have the ability to make the world a brighter place. I mean, if God is with us all the time, like Jesus says, then that means we can help make a difference wherever we go. Whoa, so that's it. That's what? Well, that's how to make a difference. It's Jesus. If we choose to follow Jesus and trust him, he can make a difference in our lives. Yes, and in the lives of others. Yeah, like if I were to love and help my friends like Jesus did, I know I could make a difference. And that's awesome. Almost as awesome as this hat. Right, Jada? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, where can I get one, Carl? Sorry, Jada. This one is a one-of-a-kind limited edition. You can't find it anywhere else. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I mean, uh, oh, nuts. Hey there kids, it looks like today's big idea is Jesus taught us how to make a difference. So here's how to make sure everyone knows it. We're gonna count to three. Take a deep breath and shout it as loud as we can, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Jesus taught us how to make a difference. Great job, everyone. It looks like Carl will be having some fun teaching you all how to build some pretty cool things, even if they do look a little bit wacky. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Grill TV. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grill TV. Every week, we have an opportunity to start a relationship with God. You may be wondering, why do we make such a big deal about this? The problem is we are born with sin in our hearts and every day we commit some, some sin against God. And sin doesn't allow us to have a relationship with God who is perfect. But God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and take the punishment for our sins, punishment that we deserved. Then three days later, God performed a miracle and brought Jesus back to life defeating sin and death and making it possible for us to have a relationship with God. So if you're ready to say yes to Jesus and start a friendship with him, all you have to do is tell God that you believe in him. Tell God that you're sorry and ask him to forgive you. I'll lead you in a prayer. All you have to do is bow your head, repeat after me, and really mean it with your whole heart. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I have done many wrong things. 
please forgive me for all my sins. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for all my sins, that God raised you from the dead, and that you are alive today. So I put my trust in you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's wonderful. If you just prayed that prayer with me, you have made the best and most important decision of your life. You are now a member of God's family. We are so proud of you and excited for you. Now, there are two things that you need to do. First is tell your parent or another trusted adult that you prayed and to start your relationship with Jesus. Two, we want to celebrate you, so let us know that you prayed by texting the word KID to 240-269-2100. Welcome to God's family. Welcome back, kids. What an awesome lesson that we just listened to and learned about. I hope you guys got just as much from it as we did. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so to recap, our big idea today was Jesus taught us how to make a difference. Oh, that is true. It's a good one, right? Yeah. So I have a question for you. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, my question is, what kind of a difference do you think Jesus wants you to make? Oh my goodness, okay. So I actually think about this a lot. I'm not like an outgoing person. I'm just not a people person, guys. I'm sorry. I love seeing everyone on the weekend and I'm like good for a certain amount of time, but then I have to like be alone to recover. <laughs> um, but something that God always tells me is it's all about people. Like what is like the most important or one of the most important commandments is to love one another. Mm -hmm. And so I think that makes a huge difference in someone's day, like just being kind or um, complimenting them or um, just listening if they have a problem. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one huge way that you can make a difference every single day because hopefully you interact with at least one person a day. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't even have to be in person. It can be online or, or something like that. But um, yeah, just being kind and um, being there for people um, who are around you. So, I love yeah. that. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll make sure I remember that this week too. Yes. Anybody you like pass by, just be thinking like, how can I like be nice to them? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, it is time for communion. Yes. I was like, what's next? Okay. So Andrea was kind enough to give me a gluten-free <laughs> <laughs> communion <laughs> cup. Um, so grab your crackers, grab your juice, whatever. Um, and we are going to start with our cracker. Um, so if you just want to lift this up, we are going to pray um, and then we're going to eat it together. Um, the bread represents um, Jesus' body. It was broken on the cross um, so that we could uh, have salvation. So we are going to pray and then we are going to eat this together. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for um, your son Jesus, for his body that was broken on the cross. For all of us, thank you that um, you sacrificed your son. Um, just because you love us so much. So we eat this bread in remembrance of your son, Jesus, and what he did for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay. Now you can get your juice. Gluten-free crackers are really crunchy. Like, it's really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I really like that. I'm glad I gave you a good one. <laughs> okay. Guys, we are going to drink our juice. Um, the juice represents Jesus' blood. His blood was poured out as a covering for our sin. So before Jesus, people had to make offerings. Um, but because of Jesus, nowadays we don't have to because Jesus paid the price for everyone's sin um, for all of time. So we're drinking this juice to remember that God sent his son and that Jesus' blood um, covered all of our sins. So we're just gonna thank him for that. Um, you can also take a few minutes. So before I start praying, we'll close our eyes, take a few minutes and ask God for forgiveness for any sins that you have done. Um, cause this is a perfect time to do it because, uh, Jesus's blood is going to cover all of those sins. So let's close our eyes, take a few seconds, ask for forgiveness, and then we'll drink the juice together after I pray. Okay. Let's close our eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for your son, Jesus, for his blood that was poured out as a covering for everyone's sin for all of time, God, that we can always come to you if we've made a wrong choice, that we can ask you for forgiveness, you'll forgive us, and that we can do better 
uh, the next day. So we just thank you so much for your son, Jesus. Um, we thank you that we have a close relationship with you because of um, your son. So we thank you and we drink this uh, juice in remembrance of your son, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Awesome job, guys. Thank you so much for doing communion with us every month and remembering um, what an awesome God we have. Amen. All right. What is next, Andrea? So today <laughs> we have a fun activity with the return of the little hands. You guys saw these hopefully last week. So um, this is what we're going to do. Okay. We are going to don the little hands okay. and we are going to see who can draw a dog's face the fastest. Okay. But we can only use our little hands. Okay, so, we have to like hold the marker. With the little hands, oh yeah. Okay. How it's hard like, do we want to make this though? Do we uncap it or is that part of it? No, no I think we, we I think we uncap it. Okay, we will make it super, super difficult. Okay, I'm just gonna use gray. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, we're drawing a dog. We're drawing face. a dog's face. Okay. All right. Do we get to hold it when we start like this? Or do we have to pick it up? Oh man, I, the start? I feel like I did this the wrong way. <laughs> okay, well. I dropped it. <laughs> we could do. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay. Oh, that's Open. so much smart. Whatever. <laughs> What's done no, is done. You gotta fix your marker. <laughs> Just fix it. It's so bad. That's not gonna work. So okay, maybe. I'm trying to remember like how to do draw. What a does a dog face. look like? I don't know. I have cats. <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Oh, this doesn't feel secure either. <laughs> all right, guys. You feel, you feel good about this? No. You know Hopefully what? Hopefully you have tiny hands at home, you can try this as <laughs> well. Okay. You feel good? Yeah. All right. Ready, set, go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this is a very square dog face. <sighs> my marker is falling. I feel like oh my, my gosh. marker is... Um, is it dry? Is it working? It's dragging <gasps> my paper. Oh yeah, I know. I'm trying to like hold my paper. Okay. Oh, no. Dog ears. This isn't my best work. I'm not gonna lie, my dog's face is 100% square. It is creepy. Like a boxer. <laughs> it's not, okay, let's rephrase that. It's not square. The top of his head is flat. Maybe that's a better. Oh no. Oh, you know what? I think the same is happening to mine. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. There's an eye. Oh, this is a scary dog. Guys, don't look at my dog. I'm not going to show you how scary he is. No, you have to. Oh, no, he's so scary. We have to verify that you drew the right animal. <laughs> I'm like I trying died. not to look at yours because I feel like it's going to distract me. Wait, do dogs have whiskers? That's what I was wondering. Some of them do, right? <laughs> That's just making it worse. Oh, no, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Do not look at this dog. It is You're creepy. done? Yeah, oh, it's really, I... it's really scary. Okay, what did I miss? They have eyebrows. What does a dog's mouth look like? Oh, I think it's like one of those ones that's connected to like their nose, you know? Look at how that line goes up to their nose and then it goes into like a smiley. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you can see him, but he's very scary. <laughs> You're just so cute. You're just so cute. Mine looks like someone dressed in a dog costume. It just looks like a rabbit. I love the eyebrows. <laughs> Amazing creative liberties. Such a fun game. I love it. <sighs> Find some tiny hands and play this at home. It is very difficult, but it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Hopefully you find the ones with like the little rod coming out oh, so you so can you just can hold, hold it. it. I don't know. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week for another Our Kids Online. We are going to use our tiny hands again probably. Oh, okay. So come check out the next game. <laughs> um, but have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.